we go and find those that are in need and try to help them, whether it is in our own community or far away in other countries. This is really at the center of our religion. COVID-19 is having an impact in everybody's lives around the world, whether it is our lifestyle that is changed or maybe jobs that have to be found. And so the church has a long tradition of being involved in humanitarian aid and welfare matters and helping others. What has happened over the past three months, we have sent 15 additional truckloads of food and other commodities per week to charitable organizations and other food banks in the United States and Canada. Each of those truckloads can feed 1,400 people for about a week. This is possible because of a long-standing tradition of the church to store food, and like here in this warehouse. And this is blessing a lot of lives around the world. One of the greatest examples of how the members have reached out to those in need has been the Sisters of the Church of the Relief Society and how they have mobilized to sew masks, a five million masks have been done. This is remarkable. Five million masks, 900,000 hours, and 50,000 volunteers, 50,000 volunteers. Sisters, their families, everyone, home by home to do that magnificent work. The church does a lot of things as an organization, but we shouldn't forget that it all comes from the members. Reaching out to those in need, helping others that are needy or afflicted, is really at the center of the gospel. It is at the core of our beliefs. We try to emulate the example of Jesus Christ as disciples of the Lord. And what is it that he did? He preached the gospel, but also he would be prompt to find the one that was in need of his comforting hand and help and caring blessings. And this is what we are trying to do. We couldn't be more grateful for the generosity of the members of